What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to GNR Frank. My name is Francisco. This is going to be a relatively quick video. So first things first, I want y'all to know something really cool happened today is that I was able to purchase a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller right here in my hands. And uh, this is not a review for the controller because I want to spend some more time with it before I actually tell y'all what I really think about the controller. But I'll tell you this real quick. Obviously, I don't have a PS5 to play this on, so the only thing I have that I can use this with is a PC. And getting it set up for PC wasn't really challenging per se, but there were some steps that had to be taken in order to get it to work properly. So number one, unfortunately my computer doesn't have Bluetooth on it because I don't have a wireless adapter on it. I just used uh, an ethernet cable for my internet, so there was no need for me to get Bluetooth, don't judge me. In order to get this running on your PC, you're going to need to take a USB-C cable, and plug it in to the very top of the controller right here, like so. Boom. All right, so the controller is going to glow to signify that it is on. And then the rest of it involves some work in Steam. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna put Steam in big picture mode. Okay, so we got Steam in big picture mode. You want to go to the gear here to settings and you're going to go to controller settings. Now, I've already got everything set up here, but uh, some sort of default to generic name for your controller should pop up down here at the bottom. You would click it and um, you're going to go ahead and go to define layout. And when you, I first plugged the controller in and I finally got it running and I went to Steam Big Picture, the very first time that I went to control, controller settings, this is the screen that actually popped up. And all these commands and the button, you have a command column and you have the button column right there, okay? So everything under button was empty. And what you have to do is you have to go through every single command and hit the button that you want it to be on your controller. Right, so I went ahead and did that already. Once you have everything set up and you've gone through the command list and press the appropriate button, the corresponding button for those commands, you're good to go. So you can back out. All right, this is all being done using the DualSense controller right now. I go to library. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play some Witcher. By the way, how does the mic sound? I hope it sounds good because I'm actually using the new Shure MV7 microphone, which I'm also reviewing simultaneously. It's really crazy. Okay, and here we are in game playing this beautiful, amazing RPG, one of the best RPGs, my favorite RPG of all time. Uh, and we're just using the DualSense, right? Um, I'm not gonna comment on responsiveness or anything like that, but I am fully functional here. So this is me holding down the X button to run, circle to jump, triangle to a heavy attack, light attack with square, uh, Witcher senses with L2, Casting a sign with R2, selecting uh, the sign selection wheel. I forget what R1 does. R1, I think, is your uh, your throw, but you need a crossbow or a projectile for that. Uh, you know, run across here. No big deal. And yeah, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get your DualSense PS5 controller set up on Steam with a PC. As of right now, Steam will not recognize it as a PS5 controller, so this was the only workaround that I had. Something that I want y'all to note is that if you have the Xbox, the Steam com controller companion app running while using this in big picture mode, uh, there will be some conflicts with the inputs. What I was finding is that as I was pressing R2 to attack and to uh, cast a sign, if I was pressing it one or two many times, it would actually pause the game, like so. So what I found is that by shutting down and uninstalling the controller companion, that app that you can get through Steam, uh, fix the problem just fine. So I hope you all find this helpful for anybody out there who managed to get their hands on a DualSense controller and wants to test it out on PC. Uh, but very soon, hopefully, we'll be able to play it on PS5. So until next time, thank you all so much. Be, uh, be on the lookout for the review for this microphone. Be on the lookout for the review on the DualSense controller. Until next time, be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Peace out.